performing her release somersault. Very well done. The girls must perform ten, ten elements on this apparatus and use both the high and low bar, distributing the elements well. Here she's performing giant swings and now moving on to the low bar. They must, in fact, perform at least two elements on the low bar. She'll now perform some long swings and prepare for her dismount. Giant swing into the common edge dismount, made famous by the Mario Comedy. A good, solid performance. Her coach is obviously well pleased and we'll look for the results shortly. Here we can see that, that this young lady has excellent technique good body positions in the kipping movement to the bars, excellent control, nice tight body. And here, preparing for the dismount, you can see she rises her hips above the bar in order to rotate and land in a very steady position. A good finish by Andrea Bond. One minute and one minute 30, up to the gymnast. That's the duration of the routine within those time confines. So to the uneven bars end, as I said, another Italian, Roberta Kirschmeyer, currently sixth with 9.35. And Roberta choosing to mount over the low bar, straight under the high bar for her giant circle. Performing her release, the typical catch and hex over the high bar. Back on the low bar. As I mentioned earlier, the gymnast must use both bars and demonstrate swinging movements predominantly during the routine. Preparing now for a dismount. Oh, a very difficult full turn and handstand into a double back. Some all very solid on the landing. Great routine by the young Italian. You should be well pleased with that. Yes, yeah, she's a tiny little girl and obviously uses her smallness of stature as an advantage on the bars. Here we see Roberta preparing for her last sequence. The double salto. Knees slightly apart, probably a minor deduction there, but an excellent landing. And the judges obviously see that held position. And even bars, Trisha Forster of the United States, 17-year-old, from Texas, Houston. Trisha currently in fifth position with 9.35. Trisha choosing to mount over the low bar, like many of the gymnasts, straight onto the horizontal bar into her giant circles and immediately into her release recatch element. The girls required to show at least one, but there is a second one moving from the low bar to the high bar. Oh, giant circle, and we have a third release. That's most unusual. If the girls can demonstrate three releases and recatches, this certainly elevates them to the highest level of competition. On the high bar now, circling for dismount and double back somersault. Knees apart for good landing. Trisha Fortson from Houston, and she is coached by the famous Bella Caroli. And we'll be back with Trisha's score after this break. You're watching 10 Sports Actions. Live coverage of the Bicentennial Gymnastics. Come back as we're seeing a replay of Trisha Forston on the uneven bars from the United States. This was a very strong performance by the young lady. In fact, stronger than she demonstrated in the individual all-round competition and should play so well in the finals. She's a very thin-looking girl, but obviously can demonstrate and show a great deal of strength. Preparing for the dismount now. Watch for the landing. Legs apart. One step on landing, a minor deduction, perhaps 0.1 of a point. And Trisha scored 9.45, so she maintains her position at fifth with 18.80 points. And now Kelly Larter from Australia, who will be next up in the uneven bars. Kelly will be leading in the beam competition later today. This is a routine to watch, Bruce, as she's played fourth on bars, and this is one of her strong events. She certainly... Uh, a beautiful mover on all events, but particularly so on the uneven bars. Mounting over the low bar, straight onto the high bar, and she'll prepare for her major release now. There it is, catch at lovely height. Turning to the low bar, her second release. Oh, very well done. A small reverse hex from the low bar to the high bar. Oh, she looks confident, moving well. Circle to handstand, giant to handstand. Only the dismount to come. And here it is. Oh, good routine. Well done, Kelly. A fine performance, Peter. I'm sure that she'll be very happy with that routine. She came into this competition with a 9.5.
And here we see that catch of Summerfeld, beautifully done. Kelly's very, very confident. She has this new release move here, known as the Shaposhnikova, named after one of the top Russian gymnasts who was the first to perform it in the world. In fact, Francis, that's one of the interests in this sport. Many of the gymnasts who invent or first demonstrate a movement have the movement named after them. Yes, they do, and isn't that a good way to achieve imm immortality? And here's one, the Comanech sum somersault by the famous Nadia Comanech. So Kelly looks well pleased with that, and so she should be because she's received 9.60 points. It takes Kelly to 19.10 and become a world champion in rhythmic. That's right. Maybe that one will be too. And here's Monique Allen, who won a medal last night in the all-round competition. Monique equal third with Kelly Larter going into the uneven bar. So it's an important competition for her, Peter. Yes, Monique, our premier female gymnast at present, our highest scoring international ever. Straight into her catch of release, a very popular movement amongst the girls today. In fact, a movement that originated on men's horizontal bar and has been adapted to the women's apparatus. Circling to handstand. Beautiful giant swings, extended body. Double somersault. Oh, a good routine. A small step, but a good routine. In replay here, we see the circle to handstand. And a giant to handstand. Notice the extended legs and very straight body. She's preparing for her dismount now. A double somersault. And just one small step on landing. Monique needs 9.65 to go clear of Kelly Larter. We'll get that score in just a moment. Go from the Welcome back to 10 Sports Action. The uneven bars, Yao Chen from the People's Republic of China. Yao Chen is a very competent bars worker and she carries on a fine tradition of the Chinese gym gymnasts who have had many world champions. Mounting from the outside of the high bar, straight into handstand, into a giant swings, and there's a full pirouette and giant, a very superior movement, straight into her catch -hev or reverse heck. These girls are very confident in their movements today, on the low bar, which they must touch. So, circle and straight into a front somersault with half turn, and expected good performance from the young 15-year-old from Beijing. Too early a result. He has the leader on the uneven bars, Olga Strasheva of the Soviet Union, who has a comfortable 0.15 margin going into this final performance over Yao Chen. But Yao Chen has already given us a performance of 9.80. The current leader. That is a comfortable lead, Bruce. Uh, but nevertheless, she's still got to complete a routine with 10 elements successfully. And this is certainly some routine. Very dynamic indeed. It all happens extremely quickly, so we need to watch for these releases. A most unusual mount, she does a backhand swing over the low bar, and that's blind, very difficult to catch. Oh, beautiful combination. And there's her first release, a Ginga Somersault, straight to the low bar. There's so much content in this exercise, you nearly miss it. Second release, Kachev. Plenty of strength. And a dismount, oh, a full twisting double somersault with a full twist in the second somersault. That's a world standard event. That, that routine could possibly win a medal at any world championship or Olympic game. And here we see the Ginga somersault, a backward somersault with half turn to recatch the high bar. She immediately jumped over the low bar to have that compulsory touch of the low bar and straight back onto the high bar to continue her long swinging. Very happy with that performance. Bay Chaver, by the way, in the rhythmic scored 9.80, so she leads with 19.50. And Stress Shaver, we're about to get her score of 9.875. 9.875. So that's the best performance so far today on the uneven bars, and we'll give heaven. Yes, they certainly were, and it's a good indication of the standard and the quality of the gymnasts that have been sent out to compete in this particular competition. So to the beam, and Roberta Kishmeyer of Italy, currently in seventh position, 9.20. Very confident for a young lady too. The beam is the most demanding, uh, oh, very interesting movement, a, a roll half turn up to shoulder stand, made popular by the Romanians in the last year. 
The beam is the most demanding of all the women's events as the girls have to show both acrobatic, that is tumbling skills, and gymnastic skills. Leaps, jumps, hops and turns, which are hard enough, a front somersault with a small step on landing. And those gymnastic movements are most, uh, difficult enough on the floor, let alone on the beam. Now her acrobatic series, a requirement. Oh, a, a backhand swing with a half turn. She's working with plenty of assurance. And that's what this apparatus needs. Split leap, the girls are required to show at least one leap or one large leap. And her next acrobatic series, backhand spring, backhand spring, layup, and she tried to regain, but there's a fall, a half a point deduction. And the girls have 10 seconds in which to remount. So that unfortunately will take her out of medal contention. This must be very difficult for her, Peter, after having a fall to regain composure and finish off on a strong note. Well, let's see how it... And it's not a bad thing. It's a bit of a stumble, but a double-back somersault. Again, a very difficult dismount. But yes, the confidence quite often is shaken, Bruce. But again, that is part of being an international competitor. They have to be able to regain that confidence, remount, and carry on. The beam looks very, very narrow. How wide is it, in fact? It is only 10 centimetres or 4 inches. And as I heard someone say the other day, that's the conventional house brick. <laughs> She's a disappointed young lady. So is Roberta Kushmeyer showing her disappointment at that performance. We'll take a break and be back with and welcome back on 10 Sports Action, your Olympic network. Don't forget the Olympic Games, Seoul, Korea, September 17 to October 2. And to the beam and Carolyn Stewart from Australia. Carolyn has a score of 9.55, currently in sixth place. Carolyn's been a member of two world championship teams. She's 18 years of age and comes from Sydney. Good start. Round off, backhand swing onto the beam. Nice and steady. There's the compulsory leap, although she's done a sit change leap. It's a little more difficult. Preparing for her tumbling series. Backhand, oh, slight overbalance, but she stayed on so she won't incur that 0.5 penalty. Compulsory pivot. I was going to say, sorry, but she must lose some marks for this. Yes, she'll lose 0.2 to 0.3. But in terms of confidence, it's better for the gymnast to stay on the beam. She just performed a planche move, which is a very difficult move, and that's most unusual to circle around the beam. Is she sure she's on beam, or is it bar? Well, it's difficult to say at times. It's not quite as comfortable as circling the bar. is working nicely along this 10 centimetre wide beam, preparing for her dismount. Concentration at the end of the beam. Round off, double twist, a fine dismount from 18-year-old Carolyn Stewart of Sydney, Australia. There's that split change leap, very well performed, nice and steady on landing. coming for a slight pause in concentration prior to the required acrobatic series. With a backhand swing or a flick flack as it's known in gymnastic circles into a layout somersault and you can see the overbalance that she's fought very hard and stayed on the apparatus and it's most important for her confidence. Earlier Roberta Kushmeyer, the little Italian scored nine on the beam give her 18.20. Carolyn Stewart has 9.55. And Carolyn has scored 9.4 to give her a combined total of 18.95. Awesome from Houston, who we saw earlier today on the uneven bars. Currently in fifth position with 9.55.
And Trisha's mounting from the side of the beam. The gymnasts can mount from whichever end or side of the beam they prefer. And she mounted with an oblique angle. Demonstrated a nice press to handstand and a good flexibility hand arabesque. Oh dear, what a pity. That was a gain of flick flack and she's lost her balance and will lose 0.5 for that fall. Actually, Francis, that movement would have what's called bonus value in that it's very rarely seen in competitive gymnastics. So it's a shame she did lose her footing. And now a round off, oh, she's in trouble. She's in trouble again. You can see why with the previous performer, Carolyn Stewart, we said it's so important for their confidence that they stay on. Now she's down one whole mark. In fact, she's not showing the confidence she exhibited the other day. Beam is one of her strong events. And here is that very unique movement. Oh, and she stumbled there too a little. A small wobble. Possibly about a point two of a point deduction. So that movement across the beam, that aerial cartwheel across the beam, has what's called bonus value. As their routines are judged out of 9.7, they get additional marks for rare, that is, original movement. A double twist dismount, a poor routine for Trisha Fortson. From Baicheva in rhythmic to artistic and Yao Chen from the People's Republic of China. Yao was a silver medalist in the uneven bars, currently in fourth position of the beam with a score of 9.65. And the beam has created a lot of problems today. Trisha Forston came in with 9.55 and could only manage 8.25. Yes, she had two falls, and we'll just see how this young lady goes. She's mounting from the side. Another one of those circles around the beam. They're becoming more and more popular. Gymnasts are required to work along the full length of the beam and close to and far away. And obviously the circling movement fulfills the requirement of working very close to the beam. Now she's preparing for her acrobatic series. Light pause for concentration. Big flex. Oh, and two layout soldiers. What a fine performance and very, very steady. That's the hallmark of a, a true international performer. And a beautiful split leap. Nice aerial cast wheel or a Barani, as it's sometimes known, into another flip flap. A compulsory pivot. She's making it look so easy. Preparing for her dismount. Round off. Double back Salto with one step on landing, a fine performance from a young 15-year-old from China. She certainly means business and at, uh, at this rate could be in the medal. Certainly could. Here we see again that flick flack and the layout, layout Salto. Excellent combination. Very good technique and great height. That's hard enough on the ground, but here we see it performance.